All right, Mike, give us the grand tour here today, sir. Well, if you want me to tour, guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've owned it for four years? Yes, sir, I have. Okay, we spoke uh, yesterday. You yes. were asking about 45. Yes. You had told me a whole slew of things that you had done to the property. Okay, I don't want to just show you. Let's show you. Yeah. Of then I'll take it. some pictures to correspond to those. Okay, this was all nothing naturally. Uh, the walls are furred out, two by sixes, insulated, new wiring, new plumbing. When you mean, when you say furred, is that, what does that I mean? Built a whole wall of two by sixes and stood it up. And then right, stood it up in front right of the existing. The okay, and the brick's probably like three layers thick, right? The the brick the brick is actually two layers. Two layers. It's an older house. Right. Well, sometimes they get real thick if they're I tall. Know. So. No. Anyway, the walls are about the eight. Okay. They the guy that had it that started it, and uh, I wish I could say that he got farther along, but he didn't. Okay. He turned around and uh, took all of the plaster off of oh, the wall. Oh, that's the half bath you were telling me about. Yeah, yeah. That's, help yourself. That's cool. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's usable. But so he took all the plaster off. He took all the plaster off. And then you put the studs off. up and then the drywall. I redid the, I, I, I burned it out in two by sixes, insulated it. Why, there's a light switch on the right, buddy. Oh, that'll help. Look at this. Look how bright that picture is. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This phone's pretty nice. Okay, so you okay, got a nice anyway, half bath in uh, here. The window is broke there. Yep, and you got it boarded up on the other side, which is good. Well, I had to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this is the dining room. Uh, it's got all new heat vents, all insulated. Okay. Because this is a crawl space. This is. Oh, this is a crawl space. There's no basement. House. Sure. Yeah, no, it has a basement. Oh, it does have a basement. Yeah, just not full size. Just not full size. So there's a crawl space on the on the part that's not the basement. Got it. Yeah. Is there an upstairs? Yes, there is. Okay, great. This is the living room, and uh, of course I put cold. And this is the front door you were standing at when we met you when we walked up, right? Yeah, I okay. was looking at it. Yes. I see holes up here for That's ventilation. That's a cold air return. Okay, so is the duct work in place? The duct work's in the basement. Okay, it just needs the vents then, or? They're, those are just re vents required. The drywall is put on. Most of it is the uh, waterproof. Hey, why'd you do the green board? That's usually only for bathrooms. I bought a sale. Okay. Uh, it's I, a higher quality I, board, I so. I bought everything yeah. they have, okay? Okay. Uh, they're rough. 18 by 20, say. These two rooms. Is all the stuff in here staying or going? Well, my tools will be good. Okay. Is any of this stuff valuable to us, Mike, you think? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, again, if we can use, if these are the doors that came sorry, from these oak. Really hard oh, I was asking him if, if any of the stuff in here is going to be of value to us or not. Well, and you got a whole kitchen set. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you're going to leave the cabinets, that'd be nice. Yeah, the, ca the cabinets will go in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the bed, uh, the brass bed I'm going to leave. And uh, I'm just taking my tools out. Sure. The fence is earmarked for back here, and I'll show you. Sure. Uh, you've got a dishwasher that works. And there's this electric range in the shed that works. Oh, you told me about the range. Yeah, yeah okay. Basically, What's the, this from? The, the, that don't even count up. Uh, I've got a guy who's helping me. I have Storing it here or something? Here. I'm taking the door. Got so it. So it'll be going. Okay, gotcha. Um, the are these floor, the type of studs that you use to frame this out? Or did yeah, you use regular 2x4s? These are him. These are him? These are him. Oh shit. Yeah, I got a, there's a bunch of it in the shed. Ah. The house is But is that what you used or no? Part way, yeah, what I had. The, sure, and then you just got two by fours to yeah, do the well, difference. Full, this, these are real two by fours here. Right, correct. I'm I'm aware. Some of, sometimes these boards will come thirty feet long too, it's crazy. Have you seen the ones that go all the way down to the base of the foundation? To the roof sometimes when I you have one down three stories. Ooh, they're crazy. But yeah, those are the real ones. I two or three three stories. Okay. okay. So uh, it looks like it's probably going to need new windows. Would you? No, you need five. Oh, you only need five? Yeah. Are they all boarded up right now? They're boarded up. I'll show you. 
Kind of let's check out the upstairs. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's, let's do it. So this is the kitchen, right? We're standing in. That's the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? A few newer, the newer way to do it is make the dining room into a kitchen and use this as a cooking area. Yeah. With an island. Okay. That was one of the things that we were talking about. Yeah, but this is all living down here. Is the point, though? Yeah. It's all living down here. Yeah, that's good. The, Floor is actually yeah, pretty, it's so pretty simple to close sturdy. because I knew I know, and she's not there no more. The lady in charge of titles, so I kept getting the taxes down. Oh, what are they now? Two, two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, there's an electric bill, which is a piece of cake. Yeah, but I see that I never had too. the water turned on. It was the way I bought it. Okay. So you don't you don't have sewer mill, tax bill, or nothing. Sure, sure. Uh, I built the cabinet for the washer dryer. Okay, and it's got the water in. Oh, this is the what connects you were telling me about. Yeah, I got gotcha. Well, this is the idea. Okay, I made these wider. And there's some new... The steps going up. Oh, I see yeah, the ceiling see, up they, there. I added to them to make them bigger. Gotcha. And shark cuttered it to get on the yeah, steps Yeah, so it's easier. a little narrow up there, but that's probably how it was before. But that's uh, fine, though. That, that'll pass because I know all the inspectors. <laughs> right. It's the, it's the stairway width. Sure. And when you get up here, it loses five inches, nails. but nobody seems to care. Oh, I like this. This is great. That's a this wider. This side. Sure. Stop section. Okay, this is the bathroom, which is almost a half time bigger than it was when I bought it. So you added the half bath downstairs, yeah. and, and you I basically doubled the size of this, and you got the tile almost, up. Almost doubled. You just yes. need the grout. You got this grout. And no, this, that's grouted. The yeah, this is needs it, but this I looks ran, good. I ran out, and then I found I do have it, so it'll stay. Anything will stay with the house. That's an antique, and it stays with the house also. I'm just going to look at some pictures and of the backyard here. Well, there we got is, good there point. is another one. Another rear that's an antique. Cool. See, but I'm saying there is windows. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just need a couple yeah. of them. Yeah. I think it's five at, okay. two, at, at two bills a piece. Now, this is the wrong door, so the switch is on the wrong side, okay? Yeah. This is the back bedroom. Ventilation's up in the ceiling, it looks like. It's what, sir? Are these, where's the returns? Those are supplies. Those are supplies? Does this yeah, room it, have a return? It, yes, it does. Okay. Okay. This is the, uh, how can I say? And is the HVAC downstairs or is it up Is it up here on this level? You got two. You got two of them. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Why? Because it's cheaper to make it work that way. It's cheaper, yeah, it's cheaper day to day, but you're going to, you have that expense of, uh, Maintaining and having to buy. That's a heat pack. It's all brand new and so is the air conditioner. Okay. Okay. And they each have their own... They're pretty room. good sized rooms. They are big rooms. The house is really... If I had a little cooperation from a guy that was helping me, this would be done. Sure, sure. But he what happened to that, to that guy? Your partner? He's, he's around. He's a partner, but he's around. But, I mean, it's no problem for uh, sales purposes or anything. Sure, sure. You he's just both got busy and whatnot? He just, didn't, he just got so busy he quit working. Gotcha. Okay, this is the, uh, this is my own design. Make <laughs> it bigger so you don't have a problem. Yeah, with the door and whatnot. The closet was built, although I... I didn't pull a permit on it, so it's been there. I just reordered it. Okay. The, the windows are there. And and you said that the up. roof is new too, right? New roof? Rubber roof. Rubber roof? And I have it down there. I have, okay. I have a piece of it, plus I have the original sticker. Of Perfect. A 30 year roof, I think they call it. Yeah. Anyway, it's been put on. So we have three bedrooms up here and a full bath. Full bath up here. And yes. three bedrooms. Yes, sir. And then downstairs we have a half bath, kitchen, dining, and living. Yes. Let's check out the basement and do an exterior walk. Sure. That's Sound good? The exterior. All right. 
The exterior is perfect because it's been tuck pointed. And you it's have ready uh, for it's ready for masonry paint. Okay, cool. I'll help you and with all the light switches. So you have an off. HVAC in here with the thermostat here, and then there's yeah. a second one downstairs. Yeah, you'll you'll see it. Is that, is that one down in the basement? Yeah, I'll take it down. Okay, there. cool. There's no extra charge. <laughs> and we have, well, I like that. Some makeup light too. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Those are nice. Yeah, yeah so we can put it in a whole a whole this bar. This is all functional. Mm -hmm. Everything is functional, okay, except a, a few things that the green is moved up. Okay, these steps will be wider. You can see them right there, mm -hmm. and they'll fill out. Uh, they have. I would put the rail. The code says a railing here. And then as you go up, a railing on the left side or a railing on the yeah. right side, a little three foot piece. Okay? Sure, sure. Now you have to really be careful going downstairs. Oh, is this the basement? Oh, okay. Yes, gotcha. that's, you're fine, sir. I'll walk I thought we were going. Uh... You got plenty of light. Okay. Okay. But when you get down here, you do not have any steps. So you have to. Step oh, you got to jump down? down? You have to step onto the block. Gotcha. And I'll turn the lights on in here. Concrete over here, Mike. Here, here. Okay, so here's our second HVAC. You got this thing on. Feels good. This, pumping out some air. This has just got the air circulating. Circulating. Okay. Okay. The panel box looks good. It's no, even it's a, a cover. No, it's a damp panel. But it and looks good. The reason some of them aren't hooked up is this is what they they did. They, I'll show you outside. They ran three quarter inch hard conduit. So if you look at the box, anytime you see flexible wire, it goes into a, a thing that jumps to the second floor. That's all been changed. Okay. Now it's all the way it's supposed to sure, be. Sure, sure, sure. You have an alarm system already installed. If Is it on the windows and doors, or just the doors? Not me hooking it up. Are you? Yeah, we don't ever wireless. I know. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, it's I not really have much value to us, but no, it's, it's here. It's here. The wires yeah. are here. So, right. So I mean, you can do what you want. Right. Uh, that furnace is, a, is a, approximately seven years old, and it's a Tim Star, which is comfort maker. Okay. And uh, works like a champ. Now, listen, this is hard to believe. That's 50,000 BTUs, that's all. For the heater? For the first floor. The second floor is 15K, which is about 30,000 BTUs. Yeah, but you're going to have all the heat rising up there anyway. No, it doesn't make any difference because once you seal that off at 75, which are the work any Sure, I get you. Uh, you don't have the draw. So where do we act, is the crawl space accessed through the, the outside or is it it's right there, isn't it? For those that's on That's our crawl space you, right there, isn't there's it? There's two of them. You can take the pipes, you can take this I used all insulated duct because it was lays on the ground. Right. There. Okay, I okay. gotcha. This has got all new drain and here's the vent, here's the drain hole. And it runs over there and it goes out. The okay. dirt is back. It's not level. The concrete was up there. The concrete bags are here to, to fill that dirt in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right upstairs here. Okay. With, with, is that material staying? Uh, basically, uh, what it needs is, and I meant to show you that too, is we spray what they call knockdown. It's a hopper full of mud, and it's watered down, and you, it's, and you hold a gun, and you shoot it, okay? Yeah. Anyway, and then you take a putty, a 12-inch knife, and drag it over, and it makes it look like mountaintops with the flat. No, I'm with you. It saves you from having to up, sand it all down, yeah, too, doesn't it? You've got to remember, this is 10-foot ceilings, and it's over 100 years old. Mm. And all of the... Ceilings are nice in here. All of Not as many windows as I'd like to see, but... Sewer pipe is over there. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. In the corner. So you have 
That one going up to that one bathroom, and then this yeah. half bath here is the one that I saw in the corner here. It goes down on that little yeah. Have you had it cable, uh, scoped? Floor. It's all code because I'm a licensed pipe fitter. Oh, are you? Really German. cool. German. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Have you had it it's scoped, though? Like, It's probably PVC into no, clay, it's right? Clay, but it's fine. You well, it's PVC spend, from where I save saw. The, save the money. Because yeah. It's, it's but it's been, clean it's and everything. Been working for four years. Sure, sure. And that's bathtubs full of water. Yeah. Okay. It's good today. Now I don't yes, live I here. Okay, but there's there's no that pipe for the leaves right down behind that furnace straight out is six inch clay. And it does it go front or back? No, don't, don't go this way. It goes towards the alley. Goes the alley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These don't go forward. I'm just back. curious. Yep. Let's do an outside walk. Is that all right? For you and, <laughs> and Mike. Comes with the dime I tour. Comes with the dime tour, right? I finally remembered his name. That's right. It's a tough one, Mike. It's okay, a tough one. Okay, so you boarded up all these windows. You did that, right? Well, the guy Our, that bought the house did this. And that was, and you've owned this for four years, right? So these yeah, have been that way since you bought it. it. Four, oh, this is a double lot, too. Okay. Now. Gas meter, and just changed it. It's all new. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here's a new unit for the second floor. It was brand new when I took it out of the box. Okay. And, and that was four years one ago. One year. No. Oh, one year. No, it ain't been in a year. Okay. Because I had all the pipes in, and then I put the ceiling in. It's got six and a half inches of insulation. Plus, I blew in the rust. Blown in. Okay. Okay. So, uh. So, what's going on with all this right here? Is this okay, just the way you had is, it? This is nothing I wish you had not even seen. Uh, is, that, this, is that why you got these boards I here? I cemented, I blocked the, the door. The door, yeah. I sealed it, and this is a catch all for the concrete and stuff that doesn't rot. Okay, like there's concrete all around that just goes in. Yeah, and then back dirt gets fill at some over. point. Okay, this concrete was set to be broke down into the hole, and then dirt put on there and made yeah. the backyard. So you have a brick patio, okay, and a brick walkway all the way to the front. Where's the patio at? Right here. Well, this is what I call a patio. And this is a, a like a. Place I see to some sit. brick. You think it's just overgrown? It's dirt? overgrown. I think. So it has to be dug up. Yeah. Okay. So we we have window. We have a. I didn't even. These are good. The first floor, and like the bathroom in the front, they're all good. You need like five. If you get them for 189, it's installed. I get it, Mike. I got a quick question though. You have a window, covered window, window. What's going on with this big here? Is there a door somewhere? That's, a, Is that a, window? that's a door, to a rear door for the second floor. And the stairs going up are right there, right? And laundry? Right so on the a... other side, the laundry sits there. There's the vent for it, for the dryer. Two doors or one? Well, it's actually two doors, but one don't open. Okay. Now you can make it any way you want. But you just did that to just keep it up. Well, it. they boarded it yeah. up. I told you I didn't board it. I get you. Okay. Two condensers, right? You got one for the downstairs yeah, that's right here. I, Where's I, the second one? You no, know, that's the second floor. I do not have one here for the... Uh, uh, the downstairs? I, uh, okay. I was in the heating and cooling business. So that's so. just circulating right now then? Right now it's just circulating. Got yeah. it. Okay. Got it. Okay. The fence is okay. The wood to repair it. And it I'll show you it's in the house. I got a dozen pieces. And uh, I have somebody sending me all of the extra shit. There's a lawnmower in there that they that I keep it. They keep the grass cut. Okay. I get you know, run over and Sure. That piece of fence wire I showed you. Is, Replace all of this. Yeah. And then let's let's go back here just for a second. There's a range in here that you're leaving here, right? Yeah. It's a gas range. It's, a, it's electric. Sir. Oh, it's electric. It's electric. Yeah, it's okay. Ready. It's ready for the plug. So when you say double lot, that's this too, right? The double lot is from there to here. This is church parking. Okay. Okay. So you're not going to have anybody build I on... I don't say they're not on my on property. this or this. Okay, but it doesn't bother me. But legally, though, is this your lot or no? no? 
No, I would say legally. Yours ends at the fence? Yes. Okay. So, double lot, meaning wide or deep? Wide. Hmm. Okay. Because most of the lots, the houses are only 18 foot, and they got four on one, three on one side. Is so it? It'd be 21. We got... Oh, I get you. Let me ask you this. This is probably the, I'm asking the wrong questions. No, you're not. Is it two parcels or one? It's only one okay, parcel. That makes, it's just sold a wider lot one. than the rest. Got it. Sold all as one. If you want to walk down Let's here. Let's go down this way. Yeah. I would, I would if I was looking at it. Because <laughs> you can see, look down the edge of that wall, you'll see it's straight. It is straight. Okay, and it's been tuck pointed and it's ready for Need some cleaning paint. and paint. Okay. I did not tuck point it, I hired somebody. Okay? And there's that bathroom window that's boarded over. That's the lower look, uh, half bath right there, okay. That's the lower, the one that you went in and took a picture without the light on. Okay. It's actually kind of nice okay. being next to this church right here. Yeah, it's real nice. Uh, this is the patch. This is kind of an upcoming neighborhood area, you know. Is it? Might, I don't know about these yard, steps though. You think the steps are going to be over? What's going on right now is I know you stepped over the bags of cedar uh, in the living room. I have uh, bags of cedar in there and I got black plastic in my car. What I'm going to do with it is cover the grass and put cedar chips on it. So never, it's so hard to cut the last three feet. Yeah, this is steep here. It is because you can't get to... Yeah, that. I would just use rock or something where you don't ever well, have to I mess with it. Well, I thought cedar. If you give them rock, you give the kids something to throw. If you use cedar, it's cheaper and it looks better. That's a good point. And, uh, so here's our front door here. Way, here's your front door. Uh, it's called This house is called the side wheeler because it, the front door is on the side. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, Mike, you seem to know a thing or two about a thing or two, man. I know, man. You Jeez, definitely you're do. teaching I, us a lot I've of... I've been around a week and a half. <laughs> Almost, two. <laughs> Almost two. I know you don't know this, but this house is considered an English Tudor. Did not really know that. I did that. not know that. Okay, well, it makes it... There's only three or four in the south. Side. If you look at the roof, which I don't know if you fall, but the second oh. story falls in. See it? And it's not brick, it's slate. Yep. Oh, I get it. So okay. when, once you do the house, which I was sorry they ever painted it, but I'm saying since they did, I was going to go back with a gray red, and then that bed there would be, a, the whole deal would be a kind of a maroon color. Yeah, you got a little wave in this wall here. That well, wall on that you side. get that. I'm not going to charge you extra. <laughs> okay? It's yes, not, it was, it's not it was too terrible. A hundred percent. Is 90% out of 95 is the way I want it. Look how straight that back wall is. Yeah, I see. Okay, but there is places that they have a little way. Yeah, it's got a little way. Nobody yeah. will ever see it. <laughs> no, really. I nobody would ever paint it. I think it. when it's painted, it won't. you won't notice it as much. Well, as you have to use a flat paint, and like I said, I want it a gray, but I want it a red gray. And then that'll be like blood color, the setback. You know, Got it. And flat paint. Right. And that there's no broken tile up there or nothing. This is a hundred and something year old blue spruce, and that's just a regular evergreen. Yeah, it's a hundred year old? It's over a hundred. The house is over a hundred years old. It's not very big for a hundred year old tree, but I guess it's maybe more of a bush, huh? This is a tree. Which one are you talking about? It's a hundred year old. That. That? Yeah. And oh. this one here is not, but it's far the for me. But that's a perfect Christmas tree. But if you can, it's hard to picture, but if we go across and all the way to the fence with a red bark and you have a gray house and a little bit of outside trimming, you know, you're you know, landscaping, you're going to have something pretty nice. Yeah. Let's talk numbers real quick. So you're asking 45, right? Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. That's a, is that if it's pretty firm, it sounds like. Well, it is, but I'm just saying, uh, I've had people offer less, but they didn't buy it. Okay, mm -hmm. so I mean, I've had offers for forty. 
Well, well let's. Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll offer way less. Yeah, we're happy to. offer We won't even charge you extra for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you what it was. Okay. No, right. it's a good looking house. It's got uh, got a lot of stuff Other done already. My... Yeah, let's talk numbers real quick. We're, you don't have to go away. You can stay right here. So, you want to get in the shade real quick? Yeah, let's go over in the shade. It's a little hot in that yeah, sun, man. Yeah, he is, he's an idea, man. Yeah. All right. So you've done quite a lot. Owned it for a long time. We yeah. still have to do all the flooring, the walls. We'd have to have. Is there any? Was there any permits for electrical or plumbing? They're all done. They're all done. Okay, so that's that's great. I'm just asking. And they pass. And they pass. Yeah. So electrical and plumbing pass. We would have to do uh, flooring. We'd have to do wall covering or paint. We would have to do uh, basically half the windows, paint the whole exterior. We don't need a roof, which is great. Yeah. The plumbing and the electrical is done. We'd have to basically do two full, well, half of the upstairs bathroom essentially still. You did all the hard work for us, which is great. We have to do some grout, uh, vanity. I don't know if the toilet's functional or not. Uh, the bedrooms, we would need to uh, do the flooring in all of those and in the hallways. Touch up a lot of stuff here and there. Fix the floor in the basement. Okay. Mike, what do you suspect the cost to get this to where we would want it to be? We're probably going to spend 40 No. You'd be nowhere near that. We pay, we pay people, though. We don't do any of the work ourselves. It doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Got an AC. How much a room do you pay for painting? We don't pay per room. We've yeah, got, we we've got basically contractors. An hour? Yeah. an hour? Uh, 20 to 25, depending on who's on the hey, job. Say, even say 20, okay? If you think in a week two people couldn't paint the inside of it? Yeah, but so yeah, but you still got to do all the baseboards and all the plate covers, all the and trimming, all the trim everywhere. Yeah. The covers are up in the front window, right? And then all the stuff like look on the outside here. Like once we take yeah. this plywood off, even though that there's some new windows, we're still going to either have to wrap this wood or sand oh, yeah. it down and paint. It's just a lot of little stuff. If you stuff, want a you know? nice job on the yeah, windows, yeah, wrap it. So you know, I think <clears throat> thirty-five to four, I mean I. Maybe 30? Maybe 30, but I'm, I'm leaning more towards 35 to 40 where Mike's at. So let's call it 35,000. Because again, we don't like to do half that See, stuff. And I know you don't either because no, you've done I it don't right. Do it. And I don't you've done do it right. We're the same way. We're okay. not going to come in and just slap paint up and say it's for rent. No. All this flooring is going to need flooring on top of it because it's just plywood, right? All right. What number Trim. did you come up with as a finish? Well, that's what we're going to I just I just ballparked right 40 off the top of my head. Yeah, well, even if it was 40. And even if you did pay more than what you want, the loan value on this is 140. You think it's worth 140 when it's done? Yes. See, and I, I came in anywhere between 140 and 169. I believe because it. Because of the size of the rooms, the age of the house, and I'd left enough stuff there for it to be called, you know, an, an older home. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, historic. Years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Ten foot ceilings downstairs, nine and a half on the second floor. And as far as painting, yes, it needs painting. I would agree with you. Yeah, I painting, flooring, knockdown. trim out, but knockdown. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just a way to not have to sand everything and make it. Flush. Oh, gotcha. You, it, you it put plaster more, in the gun, more than that. It and you spray yeah. it on, and then it gives it a text, textured, wave gotcha. texture, texture. And you like use a the house was thing handled. to kind of knock it down, and yeah, like it was not quite plastic. popcorn, but yeah. Like it was hand plastic. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. better because it's rougher and it hides yeah. a buku, a whole so bunch. So you've got uh, the church parking right next door. They probably don't like it when you're parking right over there. They don't want... They don't care. Oh, I they don't care? Guy, I knew the one before him. I was going to say, because the only thing I really don't like is the front yard Would slope. Would you settle for off-street parking? <laughs> because that's well, you got it. Exactly. Yeah, no, exactly. That's go good back there. Yeah. Well, you don't okay. Because the pad's there. All you have to do is uh, a couple of wheel marks if you've got more than one car. Move that my shed? My idea, okay, and only my idea, okay, nobody else, is there was a two, there was an iron gate here. They stole it and junked it, okay? But I was going to go ahead and do the. Uh, when you pull in, see it's concrete. Yeah, it's you have a little bit here. You could easily make a two, well, maybe even three car. A couple of steps. Come up and That's the car. But your door has to be so you got to have something plus. 
you know, like a couple of strips of concrete, 18 inches, okay, for your two tires. Right. And pull up here and the gate will open and close. Uh, even You could even buy a gate that opens and closes, you know, motorized, remote. I know people have got them, they're not that expensive. You talking the carport style there we go. thing where you just put... Not gonna be able to well, see that. the shed okay. is solid. It does not leak. Okay, so I'm looking on some software that I use to look at comps. It's called PropStream. You've probably oh, never heard of it. No. It's showing that basically for this size square foot house in this area, we're looking at an estimated value, like the end value, the ARV, the after repair value, of around 123. I said 123. You, okay, so we're kind of close in that range then, yeah, the give or take. That, the only thing we're not close on is the price, but I never heard of So, this is pulling similar bed and bath. You've also added a half bath on the main level. Right. Um, one twenty nine. Let's let's meet in the middle at one twenty five. One and a quarter. Right. Yeah, I'll take a hundred and a quarter for that ain't what you're talking about. I see my gate hinge. So at seventy percent ARV minus repairs. Repairs. Yep. One twenty five, seven, minus what we say forty high end. I've sold That's forty seven and a half houses MAO. in this area in the south. And the most I had, the most I got out of one was 169. And it was a one story when I bought it, and I made a two story, and the permit was $160. And when I got done with it, the first guy that looked at it took it. And it was four bedrooms with a bath upstairs and a full bath downstairs. And it's on 8200 Michigan. Okay. It's still there. Everything I've done is still there. I got half a dozen on Perk, Horn Avenue, places like that that hit Lee May Ferry, which is a poor area, you know. You, sure. Would you do 35? What do you think, Dave? I think 35. I don't think he said he's going to oh, go he ain't gonna take that because he has offers. He's had offers at 40 and he doesn't. He doesn't gotcha. Have. How long have you been trying to sell it for, Mike? Not at all. I've never You're tried You're not to even sell tried it. to sell it? No, because okay. of, because of, and you can laugh if you want and I don't blame you because I have what they call vision. I can see the front of this house being gray with a maroon slate up there and the cedar, red cedar chips in the front. I can see it all done with the trimmed up and landscaped. Right. Okay, the inside will be just exactly what you see now except I had plans on all light gray, flat gray. Okay. That's the modern look, man. People love it. Yeah. You about it's gonna have. To, it's gonna. That's have that a, modern look. Yeah. It needs. A, it needs quite a lot. But here's here's where I'm at. Would you do 42? I would consider. That's really close. Yes. So check this out. I'm here to view it. I own 65 rentals with my partner Mike. We're looking for rentals all the time. We're also looking for fix and flips. But I don't do the repair estimates. I or I'm sorry, the actual scopes of work. I estimate. So we're, we're looking at you know 35 grand, give or take. If you give me 10 days to get my contractors in here, so I need that many days for yeah, inspections, I'll, work with I'll give you a 42K for it. I will work with you, okay? I'll work with you. Okay, I'm just saying, you have to see my point. Oh, we do, and that's why I'm not trying to yeah, come in I'm stupid not, low I'm and embarrass myself. And low ball of yeah. piece of property I buy. Well, you can I, see the I ones next one door for, look awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. across the street. 30, yeah, the one over here looks beautiful across the way, and that's what this was going to look like too. Absolutely. This I hear you. Be better. And the, you're not the only one because of that. You bought this one and the next one and one down farther to make to bring it up, bring it back. So this is kind of, this one and the one I just sold on Pennsylvania is a hot area right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. So there, are, it's, if you notice, there ain't no cars on the streets because everybody's got a job in there. My work. wife makes me come down and eat at this burger joint up the street all the time. I know the area real well. Well, then you're, you know that there, are, you ain't gonna find walk, street walkers, you know, yeah. not here. If you give me 10 days, for a good reason, I, I need to investigate that the permits were pulled and that everything that you, and I don't think that they're not, hear me out Mike, 
that everything you said is is where it's at shouldn't be a problem you can waste your time <laughs> right trust but time. verify man trust we do it all the time right. and then secondly, we trust you I need but to get you know my guys to come in and give me quotes for this yeah, and that we'll, and this we'll, and that you just tell me when your guys want to look at it perfect perfect so Even i have a contract I'm it before i got contracts in my trunk I'll, I'll sign one up with you right now only thing i need i ain't gonna raise the price i know what it is <laughs> Okay. I know, but here's the deal. I, I would like to have it under contract with you so I'm not wasting time doing all this work and then you go sell to somebody else. It's just my I won't sell it. It's my security. If you, I, it's not, I don't even know how you found out about it. <laughs> I'm okay. not sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I mean, that's is. Can I we put a lockbox on the door so I don't have to come yes. here every time that I send a yes. plumber and a painter and a, yes. and a guy to the verify the roof? Let's walk up and do it together. Talking about one four two. One four two. What's that mean? One forty two thousand. <laughs> no, forty two. Forty two thousand. Yes, sir. I thought I'd throw that one in. That's right. Just to see. It's if a small know. number, right, yeah. Mike? It's a small number. Nobody noticed. Well, you don't notice it because it's a little number. <laughs> Yeah, so, Dave's feeling generous today, Mike. He must be. Yeah, I was. I'm, right here is the concrete, the original concrete porch. It has one little bitty crack on the edge. And this is original for me. If you look, if your eyes are good and you can listen, there used to be a cast iron, that's a door. Right? There used to be a cast iron porch that came right to the end of this window. Be pretty so, cool. Because that's, you can see the room. Oh wow! Yeah, the house is one in the way of me. Yeah, you can different. see the steeple of a nice big church right over there There's too. There's four churches. Yeah, this is a good, a good That's area. That's why we don't have in the area the one. I'm gonna sold. go grab a lockbox and I'm gonna get a contract because I want to give it to you. Okay, so I you have, have it. a key, but give me the combo. How'd, how'd you get? The key. Okay, cool. How'd you get in today? Does it screw shut or I've something? I've got a key, but I can't give you mine. Yeah, oh, you need a copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why don't I do this? I'll put a lockbox on the door. You give me. Give you the code, code, and then you can. Do you mind doing getting that done today? Because I might have some people out later tomorrow morning, or. I'll get it done today. Perfect. I'll set a key. Let me go grab a lockbox and a, and a contract. Okay. I hey, I got to call the other guy, but I'll call him right now. Yeah, go call him up. Okay, I don't. Mike, if you don't mind, we have uh, students that we teach how to invest in real estate. I don't care. So this is helpful to Got them. Got a good-looking young lady. Got a What's wish. the date today? Seven, nine, or Today's eight? Today's the ninth. All day. What's the address? Seven three three five. Correct. And this is six three one. Eleven. One one. You personally, I don't think we're going to have a bit of problem with this. Well, let's with call him, him up. With him. Okay? Yep. Everybody makes a mistake. This was mine. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully we mm. put it behind you. John is Mike. If you can, give me a call this morning. Uh, I have a man right here that's got an offer, and I don't want to do anything without you knowing about it. So give me a call as quick as you get the message, and I'll text you the message just to make sure. Okay? Bye. We're not exactly talking. Oh, okay? you're, is that your partner on this deal then? Yeah. Is that the mistake? Everybody makes a mistake. Yeah. And I made two of them. John's mic. Uh, you can give me a call directly back. I have a man here interested in Virginia. So give me a call. Cold. Different guy. Hello. How are you? I was going to call you today anyway. Do you care if I call you back? I'm with a guy that wants to buy Virginia. Okay? Call you right back. I promise. All right, bye-bye, buddy. I grew up with this guy, so...
All right, Mike, here's what we got. I'm gonna make, what we got. This is so simple. I'll leave this with you, all right? This is the company, House Sold Easy. Mike and I are two of the owners. Proof of funds, and we have our credibility, um, just information packet about us, right? So that's basically something we'll leave with you. We'll leave this contract with you. I'll just take a picture of it. Sure. One page, man. This is so incredibly simple. Today's date, the buyer is House Sold Easy. That's our company. I'll give you one of my cards. Yes. Option to purchase. I put these in the wrong spots, but you can see I drew a little error here. Okay. Address is 7335 Virginia. Name is Mike Italiano, right? Right. Is there another name or entity? It doesn't matter. We'll change it later. If, okay, cool. We'll, we'll add that on later. Forty-two grand. Correct. We'll pay you two fifty for the earnest money. Title experts is where we're going to close, but I'm going to pay all the closing costs. So if you go to where I want to close, I'll cover all the costs to close. Now costs will be paperwork and the title works fees. It doesn't include the taxes or any bills. That's going to be settled. The only bill you're going to have. I like this guy. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> is my part of the taxes from January one till now, and that'll be which prorated is nine months. Oh yeah, two hundred so, bucks. So. so it won't be too hard. Cool, but you you understand that that'll be settled out of your side. I'll pay the cost. No, I have to pay. The yeah, perfect. Okay. I have to pay that. So ten days is what I need. You get it. Cool. I'm gonna pay those costs. Closing to be no later than thirty days. That's fine. So if we can do it sooner, we will. But again, I need those 10 to inspect, and I need the access, which I'm going to give you a lockbox. And yeah. um, the following personal property is to be included. Materials, the range in the shed, which I didn't even see, the concrete, the doors. Tools you can take, but all the other stuff. No, everything that goes with the house stays Stays. With the house. And that's what I wrote in right here. Um, the only other thing that I would, that this particular agreement doesn't have is to disclose to you that Mike is an agent. I'm not. But I legally, I know, but we need you to disclose need to that to you. I'm going to write that I in. I was an agent. And <laughs> I, still, I still write contracts. And if I find somebody that don't want my money to close, I just turn around and go to someplace else. Okay, I just wrote, Mike is an agent acting as principal. I'm going to put slain because he's, it's not so to be confused just, with you. The mouthpiece. Yeah. So, you can sign, print, date, and keep it. Okay. I'm going to take a picture take of it. Take a picture of it now, because I can't sign it until he agrees. Can you send me a picture once he agrees and you sign? Sure. I, I need it executed. This is I understand. It's no good to yes. me that way, but I'll leave it with you. Okay. And as soon as yeah, you call me, me, you got a, you got a smartphone him, right there. I'm going to let him sign first. to protect One me. page, guys. This is simple. Protect One page. Me. You can take a picture of it. So <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Really I'm going to give you my card as well. There's our proof of I, funds. I get your card? Card. Not car. Oh. Not my car. Oh. Hey, uh, proof okay. of funds. 42 grand. We have it. If you want to verify and call the bank, go for it. No. I don't have to. Black box code. You tell me what code you like. What's uh, four digits that you can remember easily? Who's making something that's easy? Uh, you ever heard that song, 8675309? No. Jenny? Come Jenny, on. I've got your number. 8675309. You no, you're young. Okay. You don't know that You one? tell me four digits then. I'm open. Four we, or five? Four. It's a four, it's a four digit lock box here. What's the last four digits of your phone number? That's the easiest way to remember everything. 0949. There you go. There you go. 09. 49. 49. You still buying those for 20 You know, I get them for eight bucks a pop. Oh, you're cheap. But I buy, buy about 300 of them at a time. 09. 49. Right. So, Ask what I do is I'm going to move this little lever right there. So, this will open and close at 0949. You move it one way and any way it won't. Very simple, so go back to 0949. I'll place it, so all you gotta do is hit that code and then stick it in there. Text me a picture of the contract so I know when my 10 days starts. Right. I'm gonna get my guys in here and I'm gonna do everything in my power to purchase this home from you, Mike. Everything in my power, there's no- You'd be actually not very smart if you did I, I kind of agree, yeah. Because I I'm know sorry what, to hear I know what I'm bring. I'm sorry I have to put you through the me getting a hold of him, but believe me, it's not worth me getting sued. Totally get it. And he was at the closing company, and I paid for the house, but it's still his signature. Yeah, if and that's, you call it sometimes that's a problem with uh, yeah, 0949. All right, Mike, I'm going to put this on the door here for you. Yeah, that's Let all. me know when you get... Uh,
And right now it's set at that code, so on it, actually you can just open and close it. I'll leave it like that. All you gotta do is put the key in there and just swoosh it down. There'll be two keys, okay. One for here and there? Yeah, I don't have keys to that, even though you can get them and get it keyed the way you want. But this is, uh, there's only two keys that look like this. Gotcha. And everything works in this time. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is one of the, the next key down that takes care of this. Okay. Cool, so you can, you're going to go get me a copy though and put... I'm going to give you two keys. Yeah, but I'm okay. saying they'll, they'll both go on there, right there. I'm just going to drop them in there. You can Throw them on a, on, a, on a ring for me, just so we don't have somebody walk in with two and drop one and get confused if you don't mind. Yeah, there you go. There's a couple right there. I'm looking forward to doing business with you, Mike. Thanks for meeting me out here the only in this one thing heat. That'll, that we both need showers now. I'm just kidding, but I'm so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> your girlfriend will like that. She does. That's she right. She likes you dirty. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't like it anyway. It doesn't make much difference. That's right. Oh, let me write your phone number. Oh yeah, let me give you a card. Okay, yeah, that'll Ooh, work. My hands are sticky here. Here we go. You got my number. I, I got yours. I answer. I'm one of the few that answer. The Household phone. easy. Mobile number on there. Email. You forgot my name. Mike. He's easy. <laughs> His name's on there. That's right. So my card. Call me if you have any questions about anything at all. No. I can't. The only reason I'll call you is if uh, Sean gets aggravated or something. And just let me know. But I want you to be aware that I can't start sending my people down. For until liability get, purposes and everything else, until I have that sign, that yeah, signature. Not but until good. then, we're good. Just send, just let me know what, what's going on. Well, I think you made a good deal because I had drawn the line at forty-five because of the fact that if you, I mean, my idea, if you did some work which you don't, and I'd have to make allowances for it, twenty grand to put this in tip top. If I did it, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. but you don't do it, so yeah. you can't do it. So even if you pay 40 to do it, and 42 is 82, that if you if you rent it, it's 11 or 12. If you sell it, yeah. it's 130. Honestly, I don't know. I'm on the I'm on the edge about what we're gonna do. I think the bids are gonna help me decide which way we're gonna go. But either way, I'd really like to buy would, it. Would you take an old fool's advice? I would love an old fool's advice. Sell it. Cool. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> cool. I've got 80 fucking years in Ooh. these houses, okay? And I've owned as many as 15 at one time and went right down the line, got done with one, started with another one. And only one time did I ever get 10,000 less than what I was supposed to, and that was because the guy pulled it. Here, I'll get rid of that. Thank you. Uh, he pulled a shag nasty. At closing, he come in with $8,000 less, and that was all the money he could raise. The finance would still give him the money, but they, the only thing the real estate says, we can look for another buyer, or we can take 8000 less. Well. For what I bought the house for, it was smarter to go on to one of my other ones and take the eight thousand dollars less. But I said that includes you not me never buying another fucking house from you or letting you, because that shouldn't have gone until closing time. You should have let me know ahead of time, but you didn't because I'd say look for somebody else. You know, I want to work with you, man. We're gonna get this done. Where are my hand out? <laughs> That's right. Here All right, go. Mike, I'm going to, I got a couple more I got to look at today. Please call the partner, get the approval, send me a picture and put the keys and then we're good to go. I'll get started. I'm going to have, I'm going to be honest with you, probably anywhere from four to 10 people come through, but they work for me or with me and they're going to be giving me the bids and telling me what they think about this so we can move forward to get it either the flipped thing, or rented. The only thing bad that I see is like I got compressors and hoppers and stuff like that in there. Hey, you sweat. I, that's what I was telling you, man. I, I was calling you never I already sweat. walked three miles this morning, too, and I just drank way too much coffee, so that's why. You, it's got a lot of vitamin P in it. That's right. <laughs> right, Mike? Mike, uh, you're a good guy, man. Hey, I like, do this. I like this guy. I trust all my people, but that 
only goes so no, far. I told you. So here's what I would recommend though. Anything that is that's easily to be picked up in a value, I would get it out. So if you need two or three days to add to that time frame before we start our inspections, totally get it. But well, my people aren't I, looking to do that. But again, you you yeah. never know. No, you never know if they got it. And once I give them the code, they could give it to somebody else. You see what I'm saying? Again, doesn't happen, but I always say to people. You know, if you got a tool in, like no one's gonna come take a door, right? Or a bag of concrete. But if you got a toolbox, it's definitely good to just remove that. You never know. That's. I don't have anything uh, easily carried. There's a ceramic saw and a, co and a compressor to run. Yeah, I, I mean, you if you want them, take them. Otherwise, the not. Yeah. I will. Do that. Perfect. No, I will. And that door that I showed you, I just need the center. 36 okay, cool. For a shed that I own. You do your one, thing. One of the places. Cool, cool. I'll put it in there. Well, you're putting me out of the working business. I hope that I, we're solving the problem love, for you. Which I love. Yeah, that's right. Sweet. We got a 10 o'clock, man. Yeah, we got to run. Mike, thank you for your time. So this is what I'm looking forward to getting this done. Thanks for letting my partner here record all this just because it helps with our students. Mike, I trust you. Hey. <laughs> it's right. hard to remember his name, but I trust you. That's right. That's Thanks, great. Mike. Appreciate you, Mike. Mike, we're looking forward to working with you. Shoot me over a call or a text once you get all the little things sorted out. We'll go from there. I will. And you understand what I'd like to do with you is when you get the key and you get time, write down what you remember that I told you. Like there's needing five windows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm well, that's saying. another reason why we do this because we're going to no. watch this later. I took a lot of notes originally when I talked to you about all the things like the roof and the half bath. And so I have all those notes in my system already. But I'm going to go through and rewatch this because this will help with the contractors too. We can send this to them as well. You know, it, it all helps for sure. Well, believe it or not, like I said, you can see the brick. This is a brick. Yeah, we might have to get somebody out here to uh, to look to try to try to expose. Some you can of this. do what you want. I've tried everything. Yeah. The best thing to do is pour a little gasoline on it and light it. Yeah, Mike, we got to run. Thank you, sir. Thank have a you, great Mike. day. You hey, get some fit, uh, footage of this front. Yep. All right, Mike. Yeah, just call me or shoot me a text. You got my card. I'm looking forward to working with you, sir. Watch you got stuff. your camera bag. Yeah, I got my bag here. I need to get some photos of the front too, man. I think this would be a great flip, but maybe even a better wholesale, guys. All right, 7335 Virginia. You guys just saw the appointment that we ran and gave old boy Mike the contract. And now I want to add this particular property to uh, REI Black Book, where I'm going to do my marketing, get it on my website, push it out via email and text message to my buyers list. But I also want to review the deal a little bit. So we just got the contract signed a couple hours ago. We haven't done any marketing. We haven't sold this yet. So that will come. This is basically the, the step by step. Um, so let's back up just, to, just for a second to see where the lead came from, how we got it, so on and so forth. I'm going to do my little screen share here. And I'm going to make this round so I can make it like that. I think that looks good. Okay, so let's go over to Podio and see what's going on. It looks like this lead was added to our system a year ago. 
Today is July 9th, and this was added May 18th, 2019. Um, some of my team members, you can see it was, uh, the property address is 7335 Virginia. Here's a picture of the property. Um, it looks like we had some information in here about it. And when I look at my comments over on the right side, I can see that we had notes in here. So Travis and then Red was working for us for a little while. Um, looks like they had a bunch of different phone numbers. And we were getting wrong numbers or wrong people. And then finally, eight days ago, Travis even said mail next because we couldn't reach this owner at all. That was five months ago. So we did a, a lot of trial and failure of trying to find this guy. And then Travis, eight days ago, said, hey, I got a new number. It's right here. Let's call this guy and get the information. So Wes, one of our virtual assistants, went in and um, talked to Mike. He actually got a hold of him. And Mike told him all this stuff right here and basically said, hey, I'm asking 45000 for this property. And yesterday, me and Travis got together to do some calling, and I called Mike, and I spoke with him. And he told me all this stuff that you see here about the plumbing and the roof and the insulations. And you saw a lot of that in the video, actually, as well, or we'll see it. Um, but anyway, went out, and I scheduled the time to view it tomorrow morning. This was yesterday. So Mike and I just went out and we saw the property and gave him a contract for it, um, took the photos, got the lockbox, there's the code, all this notes in my system. So Laura does my dispo, so I told her, hey, here's the numbers. I think the ARV on this is 125, it needs 35, our AB is 42, and we're going to be asking 55 to 59. I'm going to change that here in real time. And I have pics um, of the property that I took while I was out there and um, waiting on Mike to basically send me a photo of the agreement um, after he talks to his partner and then um, get the keys for me. And then we have the videos that you just saw here as well. So this actually came from a vacant list over a year ago, and we weren't able to get in touch with the owner we were getting wrong numbers, busy numbers, and we were even going to get start to mail this particular person, but then we found the number. So we didn't give up. So this is a vacant list. I love it. Um, when we go to do some due diligence on this property, uh, I always usually start at Zillow because it's simple. Um, it's in this Crondelet patch area. This is what the property looks like. Uh, there is a church right here, so you don't have anything right here. Um, the property needs some work, but it's in a pretty nice little area. There's no Zestimate. Currently, this doesn't have any any very good information, but it's got some information. Shows that it's built a long time ago. Um, not a whole lot of information in here. So we use PropStream as well. It's one of my favorite tools. And here it is in PropStream. So you can see, I might as well make this bigger. Didn't even notice this wasn't full screen here. Um, you can see an estimated value of 123. And I can go down and I can uh, click on the details here. And I can see that the property on here doesn't have the proper bed and bath because he's in the process of updating it. But I do, I can see the square footage and I can see information about Mike. Um, I'm really listed interested the most in kind of looking at these comps. I comped it out at about 125, uh, which is basically what they're telling me it's worth. They're actually really good at getting estimated numbers. And when I'm looking at some of the MLS solds in the area, here's my map of the comps, and you can see here they're all numbered. Um, and we're looking at, you know, 60, 160, 45, 56, 100, 140, 140, 140. Um, and these are similars. Looks like these are all on the same street right here even, which is the best comps. So like the best comps, in my opinion, would be, well, let's undo these, would be the ones on the street already, right? So you got some right here on Virginia. That's an older, that's a lower end one. So the ones I have highlighted here are the Virginia ones. You got a 145, a 140, a 140. There's three right there, which is really helpful. These are three beds, uh, one and a half to two and a half baths, which is what ours is. 
he ex he extended the size of that upstairs bath and added a half below. So this is great information. I'm curious to see if we can see if there's a mortgage on this one. It doesn't look like uh, there's a whole lot of data on that, but doesn't really matter. He had told us when we were on the appointment that he got the taxes down to 200. And right here, you can see uh, in 2019, he paid $195 in taxes. So this is really, really cool because we're going to start doing this more and more and document these from start to finish. So back over here to my notes, um, I had an ARV of 125 plus. We thought it needs about $35,000 worth of work. Uh, the AB purchase for us will be 42. And then we're going to put this on our website and blast it out to our off-market buyers um, over the next 10 to 15 days, depending on how long it takes to get his info back. Um, and, and we're going to sell it and we're going to make a wholesale fee on this. So this is a little bit of information about the deal. Um, you guys saw us walk it to see the condition. You saw us meet the seller. You saw us get the contract or at least give it to him so he can sign it after he talks to his partner. Next, we need to get this prepared to market. So I'm not going to actually send the emails or get my people out there until I know that those keys are in that lockbox and I know uh, that the contract is signed and he can send me a picture of it for verification. But I'm going to prep. Why sit around and wait? I'm going to add this over to my website, which we use REI Blackbook for, and I'm going to set up the email and get this all ready to go. So when he lets me know that we're ready to rock and roll so um, that I can send the emails out and get the marketing going and get this thing sold and cash a check. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this over to REI Black Book. I'm going to show you guys exactly step by step how we wholesale real estate. All right, guys, now we're going to add this property to REI Black Book. That's the next step. We want to set up the marketing um, now. So we're still waiting on the contract to come back. We're still waiting on the keys to be in there, but... There's no reason to delay. We're going to get this into the portal and we're going to get it set up. So when we have that information, we can click send. We can get all of our investors notified of the deal so they can get out and they can look at the property. So switch over to a little screen share here. Boom. Got it going. This looks good. Double checking. So I'm over here in REI Black Book and I'm going to add a new property. So we'll add this one in. This is 70. 335 Virginia and we are going to put in our state and this is Missouri there it is zip code 63111 I add the zip code here and here because I like it to show my listings this is a three bed one and a half bath I think our square footage is 16.98, so we're going to add 16.98 here, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this property. Next, we're going to just add in a little information about the seller. So we have it in this system. And the next, uh, the rest of this stuff isn't that important. I'll add that. Uh, it is vacant. Does it need repairs? Yes, about 35K. How long has it been vacant? Four years. Um, and then I think we're good. I don't need the rest of this. It's in my other system. Next, I'm going to go to my photos. I'm going to upload my pictures. So over here, you can see that we... Uh, took a bunch of pictures while we were out there. That's what these look like here. We added all these to Dropbox. I'll download those, which I have done, and they are going to appear in this folder here. So I um, took them. I uploaded them. I downloaded them. Now I'm uploading them again. Uh, maybe you can make that process a little shorter, but that's basically what I did. I'm going to take all of these, and I'm going to drop these in here, and we're going to up. Oop, that didn't work. Let's do it this way. Let's upload and select, and it's going to be photos right there. And then we're going to select all, click open, and we're going to let that do its thing. I'm going to pause this so you're not waiting.
All right, we're about halfway there. Let's let that finish up. All right, guys, we are back. We've uploaded our photos over here into REI Black Book. Now, to show you guys the front end of this website, we're going to go to discountpropertyinvestor.com. This is our site that we use to dispo our properties. So right now it looks like we have six properties located on this website. This is the front end. This is our back end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to marketing. I'm going to change this to wholesale. I'm going to leave that as new. And next what I want to do is I want to make sure that my information is looking good. So my property basics, I'm going to have the address in there. Uh, we're going to have this be, you know, for sale market status. We're going to keep it as new. It's a single family deal type would be a rehab our listing price, I'm going to put this out at 57900 It's basically right in the middle of my notes here um, of what we were thinking. So I'm going to copy this over as well. Uh, bed three, bath one and a half, square foot 1698 Zillow is helpful for quick year built. That's 1893 We're going to add that in here, 1893 and save. Next, we are going to type in a little catchy title. So we're going to talk, uh, this one here is located in, is, where's our map? Here we go. It's located in between Crandallette and the patch. Um, I'm going to call this the patch. I think it looks, uh, it's about right in the middle there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, great rehab potential in the patch. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into our short description. I'm going to say make this a rental or a flip either way. The numbers work. All right, so that's going to be our quick little description with our catchy title. We're going to save that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to just make this look pretty here. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to add in my address of 7335 Virginia, 63111. And I'm going to put in some other information on here about this particular property. And we're All right. I'm going to add some notes in here to get this thing listed on my website. It's giving me some trouble. I'm going to do a quick refresh. And then we're going to just add some general notes. 